Charlotte Bobcats looking for their first ever win in Phoenix. The Suns missing Grant Hill. His first game he's missed in 128. He had a bruised heel, and there's some former teammates getting reacquainted for us. Diaw and Steve Nash. Third quarter action. Check out Steven Jackson. 14 points in the third. Phoenix on top, though, 62 to 58. Later in the same quarter, watch the slick move from Gerald Wallace behind the back to the rack with the throwdown. He had 21 points and nine boards. Same quarter, Amari Stoudemire working inside with the throwdown. Just 12 points on the night, though, for Amari Phoenix up 79 73. Fourth quarter now. Gerald Wallace gets called for the offensive foul and fouls out of the game with 3.04 remaining. Obviously, Wallace not pleased at all. Charlotte would have to bring it home without him. Later in that fourth, 2.20 to go. Steve Nash pulling from three. He was five of nine from deep. The Suns up 96 to 93. More Nash later in the fourth, just over a minute to go. Lefty hook goes for Nash. 23 points and nine boards. Phoenix reestablishes that three point advantage, 98 95. But Steven Jackson erases the three point advantage with 20 seconds to go. Dagger three tied at 98 apiece. Nash trying to end the game in regulation, sends it out to Jared Dudley, but his shot is off the back iron so we go into overtime and in overtime charlotte gets off to a hot start at steven jackson hitting the long jumper he had 30 on the night the bobcats go up 198 then is jason richardson passing to jared dudley for the three-pointer 102 101 it's a one-point game with 235 to go but too much bobcats down the stretch Flip Murray pulling from three. He had 14 points off the bench. The Bobcats go up 107 to 101. They scored nine of the first 11 points in overtime. It's Charlotte's first ever win in Phoenix. They take this one by five, 114 to 109.